Kathy Richards here with uh, this JTV News Hurricane Irma update and uh, look a familiar face on track to many of us here in the British Virgin Islands and those who may know him from other areas. This is Kyron McMaster, a young man that we are accustomed to seeing on the track creating history for the Virgin Islands. But look what, he is in a truck today doing humanitarian service in the BVI. Kyron, tell us here now how this is possible for you to drop your, your track shoes and uh, be on the road with the other agencies uh, working towards uh, restoring uh, the British Virgin Islands? Uh, basically, it's just, um, you know, it's just human nature, you know. You, you see what happens in your country that you love so dearly and you just want to do everything that, that, um, that could help the country, you know. So this is me pointing my one, two cents before I leave to go to the States. Uh, so tell me how this all got into being for you doing uh, this type of work uh after the hurricane or on a whole yes. uh, uh basically um basically the day after the hurricane um the same night the same day of the hurricane when it finished the night me my father and my cousin we actually walked on to take a survey of um of what was going on and the same morning i went public works because i'm familiar there with a lot of people and it was needed at the time that they needed a truck on the road and the drivers wasn't available at the time so i just volunteered and have um to drive one of the trucks so basically this became my role after that so you know um we out here day and night uh trying to clear the streets for everyone uh try, try to get back as normal as possible as quickly as possible safe as possible Okay, so how long you intend to continue this? Because I think that you still have some things to do in terms of your athletic career. I mean, yeah, um, athletic career always comes first, you know. Um, but there's a point where I have to cut this off. Um, Monday would be my, actually Sunday would be my last day driving truck. And hopefully uh, Monday I will be going abroad where I could actually discuss some further stuff where I could actually help the British Virgin Islands because... The British Virgin Islands people have um, supported me in so many ways, so I'm just looking for different ways that I could help give back to the community as we speak right now. On a more, on a more solemn note, Karen, uh, you have lost a very dear friend. Tell me about that experience, how you're feeling right now, what that loss has meant to you and means to you, I should say. Uh, I mean... Um, he was my coach, uh, he was basically like a father to me, um, so it's just keeping busy for the moment, well, um, that um, every day, you know, I have people around me to help me get through it, I have a lot of people making sure that, you know, I stay focused, um, just how people looking out for me, I'm looking out for the family, um, I'm corresponding every day, you know, we're just keeping in touch and we're just trying to keep it moving, you know, um, that's for the most part, yeah. Okay, Karen, it was great talking with you. I know that that last one was a little tough for you to deal with, but I know you will pull through. But do you have any uh, interim plans as to who is going to be working with you in terms of uh, coaching and training? Uh, well, right now, um, I have my manager right now um, dealing with that. Um, by Monday, for sure, I'll know once I get abroad. Hopefully, if I get abroad, and then I'll be able to finalize everything once I do that. Okay, and that's it for this JTV News Hurricane Arma update. Speaking with our star athlete, uh, the 400 meter hurdler, Kyron McMaster. I'm Kathy Richards, and thank you for watching.